So guys, um, in this tutorial, we get to see that um, just like the way you have the inputs on your cheeks, some people, um, on our previous uh, uh, lecture on the inputs of the cheek, you know that the inputs of the cheek is actually like um, a deformity, all right? But people feel it is beauty. So on your buttocks, you also have some dimples, which can be called anatomical dimples or lumbar dimples, okay? So now, what is anatomical dimples or lumbar dimples? And what are the four structures that are related to the dimple, all right? So first of all, we define this area. All right, so looking at this area, all right, so this is an anatomical dimple. Sorry, this is like a big, all right, just this place, all right? You could see that place that is like a depression, right? So that's an anatomical dimple. So the anatomical dimple is a slight depression on the buttocks where the skin and the subcutaneous tissues are firmly attached to the posterior superior iliac spine, okay? That's the PSIS, right? So posterior superior iliac spine, posterior superior iliac spine, okay? Should be here, all right? So at this place, the skin and the subcutaneous tissue are like tightly attached, okay? So the four anatomical structures that are related to the anatomical dimple or the lumbar dimple are, first of all, where the structures are attaching. We have the posterior superior iliac spine, okay? The next we have the posterior end of iliac crest. Of course, the iliac crest is coming to end there, okay, before... Uh, Okay, so next now we have the sacroiliac joint, okay, because you know that, of course, the sacroiliac joint, um, where the sacrum is meeting the ilium, all right, that's the sacroiliac joint. So you know that the sacroiliac joint is there too. And lastly, we have the spine of the S2 vertebrae, okay? So, you know, we have, this is like uh, the first sacral vertebrae, then second sacral vertebrae, okay? So the spine of the second sacral vertebrae is also related to the anatomical dimple or lumbar dimple, okay? So guys, that's it about the anatomical dimple or the lumbar dimple and the structures that are related to the anatomical dimple, all right? So guys, that's it and see you guys.